Hello and welcome back to Proactive New York. I'm Christine Corrado. With me right now is Nader Perhassen, CEO at Cytodyne. Nader, great to see you. How are you? Doing great. Thank you for having me. Nader, we recently had a conversation last week about your top line data from your phase two coronavirus trial. You're now submitting that to the FDA. When are you expecting to hear back? So we hope to hear back soon, but one thing I want to make sure everybody's concentrating is there's a lot of negative talk about our company and we're under attack from negative people that are very negative about Cytodyne. We did a phase two CD10, we call it, phase two double-blinded placebo control. Two to one, two lirondimab, one placebo, so we could get more patients in lirondimab as to be ethical. This is a very tough, Try it. Anybody can check it out that one to one is much easier than two to one. We did it two to one. We did it in a tough population and we had very great results. Now, there are two outcomes worst case, best case. Best case is the FDA will come back and say, uh, you know, the EUA uh, emergency user uh, authorization is granted. We hope to hear about that whether it's yes or no this week or so. The second case is when you have a successful phase two with a statistically significant endpoint and a clinically significant primary endpoint that you do a phase three perhaps. Well, worst case scenario, we do a phase three, the population would be 100 patients still, and we know we had news two parameter uh, or uh, endpoint very well. So we will repeat it and hopefully have uh, approval by the end of the year. That's what we believe. So I hope uh, all the shareholders don't give in to the other ideas and other people who are manipulating, we call them master of distortion, some of them the Adams of the world. So uh, anyway, that's where we are with that trial. With the CD12, which is our uh, most important trial for uh, critical and severe population, we're doing an interim analysis at 195. Right now we have 177 patients, need 18 more patients. Nobody in the world has ever got positive result in a double blind placebo in a mortality being a primary endpoint. So we hope to have that. Having these two the studies back to back now, I mean, the, I don't know what else we could do to uh, make sure that everybody knows that this is really strong results and we hope to help patients. And I know you do have an update on the progress with your HIV therapy. What's the latest there? So the HIV, everyone should remember that we, back when we used to update everybody about monotherapy, we kind of stopped doing that. Uh, monotherapy, 215 patients have gone one year with our monotherapy, prevent all the drugs, take one component drug, which is usually has to be three components. With that said, 49 patients from that 215 that were given opportunity to do extension. Not everybody got extension due to the cost, high cost, we were not able to do that. But the 49 that are still going, five of them have gone six years. Never this happened in the whole world. 25 or so have gone two to four years and the rest are one to two years, monotherapy. So with the combination therapy, we asked for a type A meeting from FDA, we're waiting to uh, get the date. With the PrEP, something that we believe we have a product that could be once a month to stop patients from getting HIV. And with Cure, this is the first time that any company is, has a product to try to replicate Timothy Brown's functional Cure project. We're so excited to get these five patients injected during the bone marrow transplant and see if we, have, we can have a functional cure for that subpopulation of HIV. And how are you doing with capital raising in order to fund these programs? So as we are under attack right now, our stock has gone down. So we don't have any worries because we do have plenty of cash in the account to go forward. We have paid Samsung quite a bit of funds. So our manufacturing is in place. Our uh, phase two, phase three, everything is in place and we are paying our bills fine. Uh, we never had this much cash in our account uh, in the history of Saturday. So we feel very strong about that, but again, the negatives of the world, atoms of the world are distorting people saying that they're running out of cash. We always have in our 10 case that we run out of cash if we don't raise money within the next 12 months. There is nothing new about that. And in regards to NASDAQ, it's a good news that we got comments finally from NASDAQ and 
those comments are being worked on. Mike Mulholland and his team are going to answer that. And we look forward to get uplisted. But we also look forward to surprise everybody about what we got with uh, emergency use authorization, hopefully from UK, Mexico, Israel, and Philippines that we are working on, or United States. Yeah, definitely looking forward to hearing about those advancements. Nadir, thanks again. Thank you for having me.